It doesn't take a genius to wonder why Hillary Clinton has declared war on voter ID. And if you don't know why, you will in a few minutes. Republicans have long claimed that voter ID laws are necessary to stop voter fraud, such as multiple voting at different polling stations or people without voting rights, namely non-citizens, should not be able to overthrow the legitimate will of the people at the city, state, or federal level. Democrats, on the other hand, claim that voter ID laws are racist. The reason being they lament that it is too difficult for minorities to obtain voter IDs because there may be a price to obtain said ID, or people must fill in a form, or they may have to wait in line, or they may have to find an office, or the many places that issue ID have selective hours of operation. They steadfastly hold to their belief that voter ID laws will limit minority voting rights, which when you think about it suggests that they believe minorities are mentally incapable of undertaking the simplest of tasks. Driver's licenses, state IDs, social security cards, birth certificates, these are all things that the citizen of any country should already possess to function within said society. You need one of these to even buy alcohol should you look as though you are not old enough to be doing so or to collect welfare for that matter. You need to show the same form of ID that a voter ID law would require. But for those Democrats that really need to stop with their racism of lower expectations and their bigotry that minorities are not mentally capable of enfranchising themselves through the minimalist of effort, take heed. Black turnout was higher than white turnout in 2012, including in states that had implemented voter ID laws. A recent study of the 2010 and 2012 primaries and general elections show that voter ID laws did not disproportionately decrease minority turnout. And in a close election, voter fraud can play a significant role. With regards to the aforementioned study, the data shows that since 80% of non-citizens vote Democratic. The authors of the study concluded that these illegal votes were large enough to plausibly account for Democratic victories in a few close elections. Elections that might have been skewed by non-citizen votes include former Saturday Night Live comedian Al Franken's 312 vote win in Minnesota, for the U.S. Senate, and as a senator, Mr. Franken would cast the 60th vote needed to make Obamacare law. Moreover, the vast majority of Americans support voter ID laws, including Democrats and Blacks. Poll after poll confirms this. And despite what Democratic pundits argue, voter fraud does exist. In 2012, the Pew Research Center found that there were almost 24 million active voter registrations in the U.S. that were either invalid or inaccurate. Almost 2 million dead Americans were still on active voting lists. 12 million voter records were riddled with incorrect addresses and other errors. And almost 2.75 million voters were registered in more than one state. Even though publicly, Democratic apparatchiks steadfastly deny voter fraud is real. Behind closed doors, they admit to the erosion of democracy that their schemes, that they sell as being racist, have. This is Alan Shulkin, a New York City Democratic Elections Commissioner. Not realizing he was being recorded, he broke with his own party's position that voter ID requirements hurt the poor and minorities. I think there's a lot of voter fraud. Right. Like I say, people don't realize certain neighborhoods in particular, they bust people around to vote. They do what? They bust them around. They put them in a bus and they move the pole site to pole site. Like what kind of neighborhoods? Oh, I don't want to say. Oh, like minority neighborhoods? Like black neighborhoods and Hispanic neighborhoods? And Chinese too. Oh. Why do they, why do they do that? Just to get like more votes Almost. for Democrats or? Almost themselves. They're all running for office. Oh yeah, for like their candidates for when they're. For the assembly, for whatever. They get buses, they move people around. Well, New York doesn't have voter ID laws, right? New York? No, you can't. You cannot ask. They what? They 
can't ask my voter ID. Why is that? They can't. The law. The law says you can't ask somebody. Which they really should be able to do. You know, I don't think it's too much to ask somebody to show some kind of an ID. Yeah. I mean, why not? I mean, you have to show an ID for everything else. Right. You go into a building, you got to show them your ID. Yeah. Well, you're the Democratic, you're the commissioner, you said, of the, the Democratic election commissioner. So, if you think there's voter fraud and you think there should be voter ID, why don't people listen to you? I mean... Well, that's because the New York State Legislature makes the laws. I don't make the laws. And you're saying there's a lot of absentee ballot fraud, too. Oh, there's thousands of absentee ballots. I know where they came from. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, Hillary Clinton doesn't support voter ID laws. Like she... I know. That's why I'm not always crazy about everything the Democrats do either. Your vote gets discounted because they come in with a burger on it and they can vote. People think, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a liberal thing to do. But I, I take my vote seriously. And I don't want 10 other people coming in negating my vote by voting for the other candidate when they're not even registered voters. Are you sure you're a Democrat? <laughs> I'm only telling you this. So what we have here is a high-ranking Democratic official that admits to voter fraud being rife within the Democratic Party playbook and in actual elections. He says nothing racist, and in fact, he's disgusted with his own party's actions and how it disenfranchises his own vote. And so what is the reaction from lawmakers within New York City? Are they saying this should be investigated? Well, no, of course not. The Democrats of the New York City are screaming that he is a racist and that he is ignorant of the facts despite this being his job and that he should resign. Is anyone surprised by their reaction? Remember, 80% of illegals vote Democrat. Remember, there are 24 million invalid or inaccurate voter registrations in the U.S. Remember, without voter ID, Busing people from polling station to polling station is not only plausible, but possible and is routine, as Mr. Shulkin has said. These are the tactics that subvert democracy and are the real forces that disenfranchise the American people. With all of this scheming, fraud, and the importation of voters, it won't take long for the one-party state of democratic rule to forever wash away the last vestiges of the Republic. It's easy to understand why Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party do not want to reduce voter fraud, nor to see why they put forth such asinine arguments that voter ID is racist because in every way it helps her and her party steal elections. The country has already crossed its Rubicon. What will you do? Leave me your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. The channel will be updated regularly and follow us on Twitter and Facebook and see our new website for lots of interesting material.